We commissioned Anna Fox to document the, the work of any fashion. Um, we decided to, to work with Anna on a lapse of time that was going to be like two to uh, three months. What was wonderful with Anna was that um, she was there, like a scrutinizing eye, but she wasn't. So you never felt that actually you were being observed by anyone I and mean, she was part of, um, I don't know, the furniture, let's say. And, uh, and I would, I'm very, I'm, I'm very um, taken by the beauty of what is, necessarily what, what is at first um, considered as mundane, or sometimes not necessarily has any glamour attached to it. It's just the greenness of every day, and that, that, that's what I regard the, the, the process of what we do. Initially, Alistair O'Neill um, emailed me uh, and asked me if I'd be interested in, in, in doing this as a commission. And uh, of course, I said yes, because it's very exciting to get in somewhere where people don't normally get in. That's one of the great things about being a photographer is you get inside to places and see how they operate. I, you know, I, I feel like when I'm behind the camera, I almost feel like I'm invisible. But I'm obviously not, but I think you become invisible. I was quite taken aback by the way everybody was making. I mean, I didn't know that people would be making their own garments. There's a huge amount of work that goes into it. Um, and very, um, and it's very mundane kind of work, in a way. The actual you know, creating the, the wool or whatever, or, 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 or the stitching, or the ironing, or all these kinds of things. She found the field work that she was engaged in, in the fashion studios, very fast-paced and frenetic. And I think what the title also does is refer to the final images in the exhibition because they have a, a level of detail that we didn't see when we were in the middle of the maelstrom. So we decided that we would sit down and try and work out a way of collaborating. And I think we quickly established that we had a similar approach towards what works in the vision, what doesn't necessarily work. And we then went away and produced our, our own sequences out of those selections and then worked on what we liked and didn't like about those. And I think what's on the walls is a combination of, of both of those things. The Blink also refers to the latest camera technologies that we were able to use. Um, due to the involvement of our tech partner, Google. So that blink also refers to the level of detail that can't be seen by the naked eye. 